Okay, time to put this into practice with your Hive Challenge. I feel like there should be some theme music there or something. But anyway, your challenge, should you choose to accept it, it's not that hard. I'm just going to ask you to find the movies with the highest average ratings in the Movie Lens data set. So go back and look at that previous example where we figured out the most popular movies in the Movie Lens data set a couple of lectures ago. And that is a wonderful starting point for this problem. Really, all you need to do is change the count movie ID to average rating, right? So you can use the AVG operator instead of count to actually figure out the average ratings as opposed to the count of how many times each movie ID occurs. So that's not too hard, okay? So start by doing that. And if you can get that to work for an extra credit assignment, see if you can restrict your, resu your results to movies that have more than 10 ratings. So that's going to involve extracting both the average rating and the count of how many ratings each movie had as separate columns in your view before you actually query that view where you're only selecting out movies that have more than 10 ratings. Move, the reason we're doing that is because if you just do the first step, you're going to get a bunch of five-star movies at the top of your list that were only watched by one person. And that's not really a terribly interesting result now, is it? You know, if one person watched a movie and gave it five stars, does that mean it's a good movie? I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm like that person or not. So let's restrict this analysis to people that at least, to movies that got watched by at least 10 people. Okay. Now, a couple of gotchas here. Remember, your views are persistent. They're stored to disk. And if you actually try to create the same view more than once, you will get an error. So if you start running into that, remember to drop your view in between runs. Okay. So don't get, don't, don't get hung up on that. So go off and give that a try. And we'll, when you're done, go on to the next lecture and I'll show you how I did it.